now we're talking with uh, one of Mercer County's favorite athletes, just uh, going to be graduating Ball State University. He was a quarterback there. He's from Coldwater. He played for John Reed. He was a Cavalier, and uh, his future looks very bright. And with me right now, I have quarterback Keith Wedding. Good to have you on today, Keith. Hey, thank you very much. I appreciate the opportunity. You know, when you look at your uh, career, I kind of compare you with Ben Roethlisberger a little bit because Ben didn't get to play quarterback until his senior year in high school because the coach's kid was quarterback. You didn't get to play until you were a senior in high school, and both of you guys have turned out pretty good so far. Yeah, that, that comparison's been you know brought to my attention more than more than once. I bet. Um, you know, we we both were in the, the similar situations. Um, you know, we both um, had had a good high school senior season and uh, had the opportunity to play at the collegiate level and uh, were successful uh, throughout college and uh, you know it's just worked out uh, well for both of us. When you look at that has it turned out to be a really good thing for you because I think you were very comfortable at Ball State. Right absolutely um, you know there, there's that, there has to be a lot of pieces that fall in place for that to happen so I'm thankful and grateful you know for the opportunity that I had here at Ball State and uh you know, it takes a lot of hard work and a lot of uh, long days and, and early mornings and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, it's not just all all by myself. You know, I've had some great coaches and some great teammates along the way with me. You know, when you look back on this past year, you guys had a great season. Uh, you, you played well. There was that big game at the end of the year. I know you didn't win it, but it was with Northern Illinois against Jordan Lynch. And it really brought you to the forefront as a, a pretty good quarterback yourself in that game. Yeah, that, that game was uh, a big one for us, and uh, you know, going into that, we knew uh, what we were playing for, and and everything involved with it. Um, you know, it didn't end like like we wanted it to, but uh, you know, big big game, like you said, and uh, you know, we did have a, a positive year and made it to a bowl game, and um, you know, we did have a successful year, uh, and it was one that uh, was good to go out go out on uh, being a senior. You've got a chance to play some uh, all-star games, some big all-star games, and hang out with the, the supposedly the big D1 guys. What what experience was that like for you, Keith? Um, you know, it was, it was another uh, blessing to get invited to the East-West Shrine game, um, play with some big time, like you said, uh, other college players. Um, you know, and to be honest, you know, it wasn't too much different than than where. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I played with, and a lot of guys that I played with. You know, each position might be a little different than than here at Ball State for for some uh, different reasons and stuff like that. But uh, at the end of the day, you know, they're just football players, just like you are. And you know, there are a lot of. I told the funny thing is, I told a lot of my teammates when I got back was, um, you know, a lot of the guys on their team reminded me of you know, some of the guys, some of the teammates that I had on my team. So that was kind of cool to, um, mm-hmm. you know, just be with them and. You know, have a week of practice with them and get to know them and, you know, have different guys, for me, throwing to and um, trying just to work at your game as they're working at their game. Um, it was it was a cool and a good experience. And the MAC kind of takes a beating, it seems like, every year. But I think over the last few years, the MAC has really done a good job with its football programs. Definitely. Um, the MAC has definitely made a name for itself in the last uh, handful of years. You know, a lot of uh, BCS wins, you know, for us. Um, the last two years, I think we've had four BCS wins. Um, you know, a lot of big Big Ten wins uh, with some other schools as well. But, uh, you know, the Max made a name for itself, and it's a good football conference that uh, you know, is really competitive. You know, you also got a chance to go to the Combine, the big NFL Combine. Did you feel like you were under the microscope a lot more than you've ever been in your whole career when you got involved with that situation? Um, I don't know if I'd say under a microscope. Um, you definitely are getting... Um, judged, examined, looked at um, every every minute that you're there. Uh, as far as like <clears throat> the doctors examining your body and ev- every <laughs> inch of your body, um, coaches and and teams with informal interviews and then formal interviews. Um, you know, waking up at four in the morning for for drug tests and then not being able to go to sleep until eleven thirty at night. So they do a lot of a lot of different stuff. You know, in those four days to have you sleep deprived to uh, see how you react, see how well you can handle it, uh, put you through a lot of different psychological tests. Um, and then you have to perform on your fourth day there, uh, throw the ball for me and run and, and all that kind of stuff. So it is, it is a long four days, but you know, once again, that was a great experience. 
Um, I'm so thankful to, to have that opportunity and to be around some great football players there at the same time and, and uh, you know, make some new friends and some more, uh, um, you know, some more camaraderie with uh, different guys and that kind of thing. Is there one story you'll tell your grandchildren one day about the combine that, that kind of stood out, maybe even a funny one while you were there? Um, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure on one specific story. Uh, some of the questions that um, you're asked while you're there are, are um, kind of ridiculous, I, I might want to say. Uh, you wonder why they're asking you certain questions and stuff like that, but a lot of it has, you know, a lot of the questions that they ask you, they already know answers to. So a lot of it's um, just to see how you are, communicate with you, and get a feel for what kind of person you are. You know, let's go back real quick. When you were at Coldwater, you had Coach John Reed, and he was a good friend of mine, and I, I think a lot of what he's done over the past few years, he really developed you probably as a person, more as a football player, wouldn't you think, Keith? Definitely. Um, you know, we met a lot uh, throughout my four years in high school, and, uh, you know, playing quarterback for JV as a freshman and, and doing pretty well, and then going to the next season as a sophomore with, with a uh, kid older than me in front of me playing quarterback, you know, he told me that you're not. I'm not going to let you play uh, JV anymore. We, you're too valuable for us. You need to be our backup quarterback. You'll get a couple series here and there, um, that kind of thing. And then the next year, <clears throat> uh, playing linebacker and, and uh, receiver and a little bit of quarterback as well. Uh, still having the the quarterback in front of me that was a year older. He said, you know, you just keep keep your head in there and. Uh, your opportunity is going to come your senior year, and you know I always trusted him. You know he was he was a great person, like you said, and helped me develop as a man on the field and off the field. And uh, come my senior year, you know he gave me the opportunity to play quarterback, and I ran with it and uh, tried everything I could in my power to you know be the best that I could be, and had a heck of a senior season. And uh, you know it was all uh, downhill from there. He he put a lot of confidence into you that senior year too, didn't he, Keith? Definitely. Um, you know, our relationship, I felt like, was a very, very strong one. And, uh, you know, we met, I think, just about every day during during the week, whether it was game planning or talking about personnel or different plays that we might run, to the point where, you know, on Friday nights, you know, there are some points in the game where he'd say, you know, you, you can take this series, you call what you want. You know, he trusted me to, to mix it up and uh, to do what he thought was necessary for us to be successful. And, you know, at Ball State, what is something you're going to remember about Ball State? I mean, they, with you there and the wide receiver who decided, I think he even left school a year early because you were leaving. I mean, that's got to be a great experience for you at Ball State to have been such a, a key in that whole organization. Right. Um, you know, we had we had a great couple years here at, at Ball State. Um, you know, I'm thankful for the opportunity. Uh, all my teammates and coaches that have uh, been with me and that I've been I have the pleasure to have in, in my career here was uh, incredible. Um, you know, we've we've worked a lot of extra hours, you know, off the field um, by ourselves. Just talk, I'm talking about players and stuff. Um, you know, we work during practice and lifting and the time that they allow us. But the big thing is um, doing extra stuff to get that edge, to get that um, those extra reps needed, um, that kind of thing, just to you know, make yourself better. Uh, you have to do a lot on your own, and this is a, I figured this out early in my career. You have to do a lot more extra on your own um, outside of just practice time, you know, to get better. Um, and then that that transfers over to uh, games and uh, prep, getting better in practice and that kind of thing. And draft day, what's Keith Winning going to be doing on draft day? <clears throat> I'm probably going to be sitting at my house in Coldwater, um, and just waiting for my phone to ring and watching on TV. I'm not going to get too worked up. I'm going to be calm and just um, try to enjoy the, the couple of days. Before I let you go, I saw one of the funniest videos I ever saw was when you went around and interviewed students about you, and they didn't know it was you. It, did you like that kind of uh, feeling to be at Coldwater? I mean, at uh, Ball State where you get around, but you were really good. It was hilarious. Uh, if you if you know, I think all my all my friends and teammates and stuff, they know me. Um, I'm not much of the, you know, <laughs> try to get the attention, try to get all eyes on me, all that kind of stuff. I'm not that kind of person. Um, but the, the, our media, people ask me to do that, and, you know, I'm 
I'm, I'm going to do what people ask me to do as far as, you know, help the program, help um, that kind of thing. So uh, they came with the idea, and I said, all right, we'll do it. And, you know, it is, I thought it was pretty funny, but, you know, it's not, it's not all about me, and yeah. you know, I don't want it to be all about me. So uh, you know, I thought it was it was pretty funny, though. I, I thought it was really good. I thought you were a star on that one. That that was good. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, Keith, say, thanks so much for taking time. You know, everybody in Mercer County rooting for you, and uh, just a good guy, and you've come from a good program, and we wish you all the best of, of luck, and uh, thanks for doing this today. Well, I really appreciate it, and uh, thank you for having me. We've been talking to uh, Ball State uh, quarterback Keith Wedding, also a Coldwater Cavalier. This is Dave Schmidt.